afternoon tea can be a time where many people crave sweet food. I meet a lot of people who make great commitments with their health and they eat incredibly well over the course of the day until that afternoon tea time slump happens. It happens in offices and homes all around the world. If I could suggest one thing to you, it would be to have brain balls on hand. Not only do they hit the spot when it comes to that craving for sweet food, but you get so many nutrients in every mouthful. So much processed sweet food out there actually takes away from our health. But the Real Food Chef Brain Balls actually add to your health and support your health in so many ways. They contain omega-3 fats which are fantastically beneficial for your heart and for your brain and also for your skin. They contain vitamin E and zinc, again fantastic for your skin and for your immune system. So have them on hand, they freeze beautifully, they're a wonderful thing to keep in the fridge, great to add to your lunchbox, morning or afternoon tea and even delicious after dinner for yourself or served after a dinner party. So here's Cynthia with the Brain Balls. Brain Balls, ha, classic. Love this recipe, easy, so, so simple. Food processor, I've got some dates here. I have a whole pile of dates. Clearly I'm not gonna use all of them. Um, I'm gonna take the seeds out, which I've done with these ones here. To take the seeds out, you just open it up, take that out it in there. So dates, the brain part of the brain balls, some beautiful sunflower seeds, such an easy recipe, so good for kids, so good for kids to make as well. Some water, just to get everything nice and sticky, and some cacao powder, some beautiful raw cacao powder, and a pinch of salt just to bring out that flavour. I'm going to put this machine on. I'm going to blend it quite finely. Depending on how you like it, some people like it chunky. I like it quite, almost truffly in a way. Now, as I'm blending, it's still very chunky. Um, I'm going to use a scraper just to push down the sides. And as you can see, it's really still quite chunky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, keep blending that till all that breaks down those sunflower seeds and gets quite sticky and pliable. I'm feeling like I need a little bit more water just to get that stickiness happening. Stop your machine every now and then and give it a scrape down on the sides. And as you can see down the bottom, it's getting just a little bit finer, just here. You can see that. You can absolutely stop there and roll. As you can see, that's sticky. And when I roll, it doesn't fall apart. I would prefer mine just a little bit finer, but you're quite welcome to do that. So I'm going to take it down, just a couple of more. A couple more seconds. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Smells very chocolatey. Just going to take this very sharp blade out and I'm ready to roll. These are fantastic snack. They're even, they're even a great little brain ball hit in your smoothie. Just roll little balls like that. They're freezeable, especially if you're busy and you would want to do a batch on the weekend. You can put them in the fridge or the freezer and they can last for weeks. And they just get better. Tomorrow they'll be just so much better. And that is how you make brain balls. Very simple, very quick. They smell great. They taste great.